uh, as I see, a dragon has running off uh, from the side of me. I've got a. I. <clears throat> what a I'm gonna run and climb up that tree. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> That's what you do, man. <laughs> Suddenly, four goblins hop out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> even, even, if, even if they can, I can see them. Yeah, no, I'm and just they kidding. Oh. They're, they're not there. <laughs> and I'm gonna attack with my bow and arrow at this guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, while you roll that, I will mark these guys because I always forget to do that. Ooh. That nice. hits. Oh, wow. Nice. That's okay. the damage. Okay. Um, this uh, this little beastie is recoiling, screaming as this uh, inflict wound spell was unleashed right in his face, and your arrow catches <laughs> Um in between that soft spot between the shoulder and his neck and it it drills about half the length of the arrow and you can tell um this this guy's not long for the world he's almost dead almost okay dead. almost dead reed your turn uh yeah because yeah okay so uh let's see drawing weapon is free action right correct okay um so as Reed sees the uh, enemies coming in, he'll, of course, draw his weapon because uh, he probably should have that in his hands. Uh, and as uh, everybody goes uh, running off, he's going to go join them. And uh, it's hard to s tell whether he cho chooses his location based on the fact that Adric's there and they've had a, you know, a good fight together or the fact that this works for what he... There we go. This works for what he needs. Uh, okay. And as he runs along, he kind of uh, draws upon a power that he doesn't know he's had before because I just added that to his character sheet and uh, is going to cast upon himself divine favor. Okay. Awesome. So that'll so that should bonus be... action. You, uh, you sort of give uh, this nightly salute um, and you close your eyes as you're rushing forward and um, say a small prayer and you feel um, you feel this energy crackling along along your forearm into your wrist and hand and to the hilt of your sword. And then that so go should... ahead and make your attack. Yeah, that shouldn't be... Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh <-huh. laughs> that shouldn't be all spell slots uh, expended. I'm going to have to go figure out how exactly... No, that yeah, that, that's one of those things that was... I don't know if I changed something or if that's what uh, Roll20 no. added in, but yeah. it's all good. I haven't, I haven't been paying attention to those. A bit yeah, anecdotal. Roll 20 added in, I don't think. Yeah. Bit okay. anecdotal, but uh, level or, um, slots for the first level are kind of messed up. But the second level up, I've had no problems. It's gotten right. Like you've used one out of three, but okay. slot Lovely. level one's kind of messed up. Okay. But uh, Reed's gonna go ahead and uh, swing with his longsword plus one. At the guy's already taken damage. Okay, that okay. hits. Nice. Fantastic. And for the damage, hey, look, that's Reed. Nice. Uh, you plus you want to roll your uh, d4 for radiant damage. It's like a new keyboard. Nice. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, you strike out uh, with your with your magical longsword, and you uh, bring it down on top of this ghoul, and the radiant energy that's w collected within your blade flashes, and the battlefield is illuminated for a second as this bright yellow gold flame strikes out from your blade and smashes this being and all that's left is a smoking pile of uh, dust at reed at your feet and before i close yeah. out just to make sure uh one minute is 10 combat ten rounds ish turn. yes yes okay just want to make sure i'm keeping yeah uh, combat rounds about six seconds so yeah okay. all right lsr oh boy i haven't thought of what i was gonna do uh, looking at my spells. Just follow your heart. <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, my heart says hit things with a hammer. <laughs> well, yeah, try uh, it. Well, yeah, he's thinking, Dratan and Zixo, what are your guys' uh, initiative bonuses? Uh, I have five. Or or do you guys want to do you guys want to decide who goes first? <laughs> I'm going first. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead. I got a big <laughs> plan. I'll just pop it on you. Hopefully, I won't actually pop it on you, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, LSR, you, um, you ready? 
probably gonna... My speed is 35, right? Oh, 35. I'm gonna walk up there, and I'm gonna cast Produce Flame on one of them. Okay. Number, number two. Okay. Well, uh, it hits, and it's a crit, and so here is your crit table. Go ahead. Click the critical. Oh. All right. Take, uh, so oh. Attack that was the critical and side? Disadvantage. Yeah. No, I, I, basically it means I get a free attack. You get a free attack, yeah. but it's just a disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. If you... Um... That's 11. Does 11 hit? All right. No, 11 does not hit. But, but the first one does. Go ahead. Yeah, the 26 definitely hits, yeah. So go ahead, uh, make the roll the damage for that. Ooh, hang on. I am not doing well today. Uh, okay. You can just click yeah, the, just the damage. Yeah, you click the produce flame word in the chat and it'll, it'll yeah. do it. Doesn't really matter. In the which chat. One. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that's pretty, that's actually really good. No, you should have clicked the one that was the green twenty six because you need to roll two die for your crit. Yeah. Oh, you did. No, you did not He clicked the other one. I thought. Uh, there you, there we go. I, I thought we <laughs> okay. just double the damage you did, not a second roll. No, wait, second roll. Yeah, oh, we take the second I'm... roll as well as the the card. I think. Well, uh, I, think, right? Right? I don't remember. Is that how we do it? That's well, how we're doing yeah, it. Now. That's it's we're okay. Doing. That's how we're doing it now. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so you you hold this ball of flame in your hand um, and push it out towards the ghoul, and it uh, strikes it right in the chest, singeing its um, its already undead, uh, gross, greasy flesh. Uh, smell is terrible. Hest is about to throw up, um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, Dratan, your turn. All right, so I'm gonna do what I usually do and spend all of my slots in the beginning of the fight. <laughs> all right. Okay, so one, two, That's three, four, five. Yes, I can do, I can do that. All right. I'm going to move up there, and I am going to cast Shatter on the two guys in the back. Okay. It is That's a 10-foot radius, it not a 10-foot diameter. You can yeah. get all those mobs. Oh, back there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is the save, right? Save yep. yours is 13? It's 13. Okay. On a con save. Yeah, that shatter radius, though, is twice what you have it. It's a 10 foot radius, not 10. Oh, foot yeah. It's, so. They both, uh, they both make the save. They both make the save. All right. So it's half damage. I just find the thing on the sheet. There it is. It's not going. That's because it's a second level spell, and therefore I need to do the input. All right, so they take, oh, like, dang. eight damage. Okay. So, yay. Nice. I am sad that they're safe. But oh well. Nicely done. Okay. All right. Oh, and also, bonus action. Um, Bardic Inspiration on Hest. Okay. Wait, what? You have Bardic Inspiration. You want to explain that one more time? All right, so when I cast Bardic Inspiration, which is a bonus action on any of my allies, they get a D6 that they can use on a um, saving throw, um, ability check, or an attack um, an attack check. Or an attack. Oh, cool, yeah. It does not apply to damage, and you can use it at any time, even after a DM says that it misses. All right. Uh, Zixo, your turn. All right, I'm going to cast the exact same spell, but on the other guys. Okay. Where do you want it originating? Is it going to hit all of them no matter what? Yeah, right where I'm yep. showing you. Okay. The... Okay. Yep. Cool. cool. All right, and what is your save? DC 14. Is Shatter going to be the new Grease? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> and this is the con save, right? Yes, Constance. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, so five and six are the only ones to save. They take uh, six damage. The other ones take 12. Okay. 
All right, you're going to move? Um, no, actually, I'm kind of cool hanging out back here. In fact, maybe I'll move up behind you in that bush there. There you go. Right. Awesome. Two uh, loud uh, booms fill the air, one more distant and then one immediately right uh, near your group, and you see these these ghouls recoil and cover their ears, and um, it is now these guys in the back's turn. And they are going to move up as well. And yeah, that's oh no, they uh as they're as they're coming up, they undo their long bows that are over their back and they are going to attack. Um they do not like the spells. So they're going to attack. Well, number one is going to attack Elisar. No. Um, and I don't know why. They're, hold on one second. Their thing is not showing up. For I don't do. know why they're attacking, but they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely going to do it. Here you go. Don't know Seven why. to hit. Yeah. Seven probably does not hit you. And number two is going to hit attack Zixo, 12. Yay, they ignore me. Do I get anything uh, for the interceding cover? Do I get half cover for hiding behind the bush? Yeah. yeah if so, do. then it misses. If not, okay. then it hits. Okay. Uh, it skitters uh, off the bush and go, uh, it, it zings right past your face. You can feel the, uh, the air move as it uh, moves past. Um, and now it is back to the top. And the ghoul's turn, they are going to move up. This one's going to attack Hest. Come at me, bitch. And he's going to swipe at you with his claws. 15 to hit. Uh, miss. Okay. And number three is going to move up and attack Reed. His claws. 14 to hit. Miss. Okay. One, two, three. Number four, seeing LSR is going to attack him with his claws. Eight. Gosh, I thought I was rolling good. <laughs> three. Five is going to attack Reed with his claws. Sixteen. Huh? Uh, hold on one second. I'm just reading something real quick. That's a miss. I just want to check something. That's a miss. Two, okay, three, yep, four. And yeah. claws again. Thirteen. Okay, so they all miss. Wow, that's really unfortunate for you. <laughs> okay. Adric, your turn. All right, I'm uh, a little bit shaky about this, but I want to try it anyways. I'm going to, seeing that my allies are being starting to be sworn by these things and swing at them, I'm going to try to cast my channel divinity, Radiance of the Dawn. Okay. Which I'm still a little pissy it doesn't have a, a click to do, but <laughs> uh, anything within 30 feet of me must make a constitution saving throw. The number's 12. 2d10 plus my cleric level of 4 for the damage, half of they save. Dang. Okay. So what's, we'll, your, does, what's your does, save? Uh, 12. Should at least the save is only 12. <laughs> yeah. So they take 8 if they save, 16 if they don't. Okay. So and that's 30 feet, five. which would include both of those guys as well. That's everybody. Nice. Okay. 16 damage. And it's radiant damage in case that's important. Okay, it is. It is important. That is quite impressive. Um, mm -hmm. Lokio. Yeah. Yeah, Lokio is super scared. You'd say, yeah, you got access to your basic stuff. <laughs> no, I will RP this. Hold on. Huh. Where'd you look at that? Clerics. Go to get some dead. Oh, HK. Oh, <laughs> All right, and let me make these last two saves. Yeah, you got a lot of rolls to make, I just realized. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're all good. All right. Feel a little bad. You should. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're so trivializing much. this hard encounter that I built for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, so you uh, you bow your head and you um, you say a little prayer and you, you draw upon your power. And once again, it's slow to react. It is coming and it's you can feel it building up behind this unseen barrier 
and suddenly it's almost as if um, it's let loose rather than you're able to force it through. Um, and your your divine power extends beyond you. This great, big, bright, white light shines out. Um, everybody sort of blinks against the brightness. And when you come to uh, and you're able to regain your sight, uh, number two is uh, a smoking pile of uh, bones and dust. And number five is similar. The rest are uh, a bit dazed. They're standing there uh, blinking their eyes. Um, yeah. Okay, Hest, your turn. I, I take a knee in exhaustion. I that, that took a lot out of me, more than usually does, which is concerning. Okay. Number four, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have to say, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, almost nonchalantly, you uh, you make your attack and it hits. What's the damage? Yawn, thwack. Um, hold on. I got to type. Uh, I think it's uh, no, that's not right. Okay, max damage too. Okay, um, yeah, nonchalantly you you sort of just flick out um your mace and you smash this ghoul upside the head, um, completely unhinging its jaw and creating a sizable dent dent um in its in its head uh it falls uh, it, it sort of stumbles for a second um and then regains its footing you can see it sort of stitch itself back together um something is holding it uh holding it together at this point um it's not dead though bitch okay. you best be dead on the next turn <laughs> <laughs> okay uh kai your turn all right, I'm going to move up to here and that to it stealth mode. So I got to roll for that. Uh, yeah, roll stealth. Stealth. Oh, boy. Like, I don't want anyone. Okay, that should okay. be stealthy enough. I don't want any of them to hear me moving. And then okay. I'm going to attack this guy. Uh, which one? Um, well, you, if you're entering stealth, that's an action. Hiding is an action. Yeah. Unless no, you're a thief. No, I think not, the thief can... I'm not yeah. hiding. I'm just moving in stealth mode. Like, I don't want anyone of them to hear me move. Well, you're taking uh, to, to enter you stealth to hide is an action. That takes up your action for the round. Unless you have cunning action, which is a rogue ability. Or, I think, Dratan, you have something similar, don't you? As a, uh, as a halfling. Uh, but... There but in, in combat, to hide, yeah, is an action. If you want to just be quiet, effectively, that's not really doing anything. You're not going to be able to add anything. Uh, if you want to still attack, you can definitely attack, but you're not going to be stealth from it. Uh, okay, later, uh, I'm not going to be stealth. Okay. I'm going to attack way, that. Has, as a halfling, I can attempt to hide behind creatures that are like one size larger than me. I don't have anything that benefits me to hide. It's like a bonus action. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. And that's right. my attack. To number six? This number one. one. Number okay. one blue. Okay. Um, that hits. Your arrow uh, streaks across. Go ahead and roll your damage. It's 12. Ah, nice. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, your arrow streaks across and it uh, hits this skeletal creature um, in the chest and it uh, recoils and has this high-pitched high shriek <laughs> and it turns towards you. Um, and can I hunters mark him as a bonus action? Sure. Okay. But I'm not going to let you roll for it this round since you didn't announce it beforehand. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's for the next round. It's okay. All right, Reed, your turn. Hmm. On the one hand, but on the other, um, Reed's gonna <laughs> kind of turn and straighten himself out to kind of face more towards uh, what is that? Uh, six and three. It looks like. Okay. And then, uh, still with absolutely sexy radiant sword in hand, he's gonna go ahead and strike at uh, number six right there. All right. So let's get that thing opened up again. And please. 
That hits. Thank you. And then... Nice. Five okay. plus... It's just five. Yeah, five. Well, remember, I still have the Radiant Tam. Oh, and then, yeah, so roll your D4. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you, uh, you once again lash out, and this energy that's collected um, within your blade strikes down, and uh, another great gout of uh, golden... Golden radiant fire flashes and leads this ghoul in a pile of dust at your feet once more. Man, it's almost like brother. paladins do things like clerics. <laughs> Holy damage! Who would have thought? Have okay, thought LSR, you your turn. Mine was brighter. <laughs> <laughs> Put your dicks away. We can do this afterward. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's something I could drink too. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm just going to do the good old one-two with Sulele. Okay. Oh, it doesn't, do, it doesn't do the actual attack. No. Uh, you should have it as... as you it, should have it as a, a weapon. Yeah. Do it yeah, by your button it. sheet. Oh, yep, there it is. Plus four. Yeah, just click it from your sheet. There you go, yep. That hits. Yeah, that's five damage to number four. Does it make like a like a maracas sound before it hits? <laughs> like a what sound? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like he like does a maracas shake, like it does a shh, and then it whacks it with it. <laughs> just remember, he just beat him upside the head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Beating him with a sound. Okay. Uh, your your magical staff uh, strikes out. Um, and a, a flash of energy uh, happens as you hit, and uh, the creature falls to the ground and doesn't move. It's, it is expired. Okay. Jordan, your turn. All right. So, after expending all of my spells and realizing that the undead probably don't have ears, I'm going to leave behind my piano here. Like, I'm going to jump over it. I'm going to, like, go over here. Oh, shit. And I'm going to attempt to stab this ghoul with a rapier. Okay. You're not allowed to Goomba stomp us. <laughs> no, dude. I, 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 I like to roll underneath you. Leapfrog over the piano, oh, then Goomba stomp actually... on top of Adric's head, turn, stab. That misses. That hurt, does it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well. That would have been cool. It would have been cool. But it misses. <laughs> dude, that's what that's what Jatan is all about, is audacity. <laughs> what? He's going to leave behind his piano? What the fuck? It's like, whoa, is he, is he dying? Is he sick? What's up yeah. with that? Who are you? So your turn. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, it's always gonna dash up to this point. I'm gonna cast ice knife at the two guys in the back. Well, the one guy who's shooting me, and if it hits, it'll, well, they'll, they'll explode anyway. Uh, ten doesn't hit, does it? Nope, that misses. So That's it does uh, six cold damage if they uh, if they don't pass a DC fourteen uh, dexterity save. Hold on, even Slenderman is even if it us. misses. Whoa! Yeah, 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 this yeah, is yeah, the yeah, spell yeah. Ice Knife. It's actually not a bad piano. I ain't gonna lie. It just explodes basically. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. If you zoom in, can you do individual keys? Okay. 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 Uh, I could. I'm I trying to figure that out for myself. Hang on. Give me one second. All right, so they both take the six cold damage if they don't if save. If they don't save. What and happened? No damage if they save. Okay. I'm back. What and happened? Things. It Not much. A dexterity save. Uh, All yes. right. One makes the save and two does not. So minus six for two. Okay. And then okay. Zoe, instead of doing dodge, is actually going to dash this action and up behind that rock up here. Mm. No, no. Right no. up there. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, uh, as you're up here and you're elevated a little bit, you do not have line of sight uh, the, right about here. That's perfect. Okay. A, I want to be out of line of sight of the guy trying to shoot me with the, with the arrow. I see. I see. Okay. That's understandable. All right. Um, it is these skeletal guys in the back's turn. They... Uh, Number one, um, feeling quite frustrated with uh, his troops dying, raises his um, 
sword, his long sword up, uh, and lets out this uh, this roar that carries far, um, and you hear an answering roar to the to the east. Um, it's a different tone, much deeper, um, oh. and the ground begins to rumble. Nothing happens yet, but um, oh. number one, after he does that, he's going to move up to <laughs> four. Don't say that. I'm going to get stabbed. <laughs> he's going to strike out at Dratan. Uh, hold up, cowboy. Oh, no. Now it's my turn. You're going to... Sentinel. Uh, as a reaction, I get to strike him now. Number okay. one? Yeah, uh, when a creature within... Oh, no, never mind. No. Yeah, he's within five feet. No, it's, yeah, he's it's ten feet away from you. So. Five feet, not ally. Never mind. Right. You can do your uh, little impose disadvantage, though. Yeah, uh, you can do protect. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, because that's, that's okay. my action, too. Okay, so 15. Like 15 to hit. That hits. Oh, come okay. on. Eight. Come on. Eight damage as he's holding his longbow in the other hand. Okay. And number two is going to continue firing his longbow. Um, and he is going to attack LSR down there. No, not again. Let's see. He... Oh, yeah, that's the one. Hold on. Let me pull this up again. There we go. 22 to hit. Ooh. Oh, that's definitely hit. And 10 damage. Okay. Ooh, that's a good hit. All right. And... The last of the ghouls gets his turn. Um, a little emboldened by his uh, superior there behind him, he uh, is going to lash out a, against Reed again, and he's going to hit this time. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's Adric's turn. Look, it's the holy power, man. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, I, I, I get an idea in my head. I... I Something I want to try out. So I'm going to do a hop step backwards five feet, and he's going to swipe at me. But while I step backwards, I'm going to do a solar flare, which is my uh, my warding flare, and okay. impose disadvantage. So okay. eight does not hit. I am then going to dash to the guy in the back. So let's see that be uh, allies count as difficult terrain. I, don't, you can, I think you can walk through allies. Like a yeah, you can five, move through an ally square without 10, 15, penalty. yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, If you're, 30, if you're 40, dashing, 40. you have 45 extra feet left. Yeah. Okay. All right. That works out perfect. So I'm going to move here. Actually, no, I'm going to move right there because that's a straight line. Uh, and then I'm going to turn on a dime... And dash. Ooh, hang on. I need to math this good and proper. Are you trying to be right next to this guy in the back? Not quite. I'm trying to do well. Yes and no, but I need to do it a certain way. So okay. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then a mad dash straight to this guy. Oh, and because okay. I picked up yep. a feat by the name of Charger, <laughs> okay, uh, I get to use a bonus action after dashing to make one melee attack. If I move at least 10 feet in a straight line, but right before I take the attack, I gain plus 5 bonus to my attack damage roll. So first I have to hit the bastard. Okay, you. so as a bonus action... Yes, I have to have dashed... Do you need an action to attack? No, I do not, because I use my action to dash. Right. So you Okay, so you don't need an action to attack, it's just a bonus action. It's a bonus action to attack. So and he gets what was it? Plus five to hit? Plus five no, plus five to the damage. So I have to I have to actually Jesus. Hit it. Yeah, but here's the problem. I'm garbage at hit. hitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that misses. Exactly. <laughs> ah well. You tried. So I put all my oh. weight into this, but I just I'm I'm new to this. I misjudge it, and I kind of stumble halfway it's there. It's like a really whiff. epic scene. He backs out. <laughs> and he's the time to run around the run on the bodies. He's trudging straight forward. It's at that like anime background with like the whooshing air. <laughs> and then and as he arms closes in, behind there's me. There's this big like black screen, and it just shows him hit the ground in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I, I slide on my ass, and I'm on the ground right now sitting and wondering, how could this go worse? <laughs> I'm call So I'm prone right now and calling it a turn. How did it get to this you, point? I slid. I, I slipped. You're prone? <laughs> or are you just yeah. RPing that? 
I'm role playing that. I'm on the ground okay. right now. Okay. If you want to be prone, I'll take it. <laughs> I think it's appropriate. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's my Fine. turn. Hawk That's has to take, what he, take what he can get right now. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you your turn. Yeah, I rolled a physical die. And if it was less than 10, I fall more. So I got two shitty rolls. I got a 10 and a 5. <laughs> you might want to heal me. <laughs> That's why I do those in chat. <laughs> nice. Nicely done, everyone. Okay, Hest, it's your turn. I'm going to move there and attack this bitch. Okay. <laughs> Get ready. Right. Awesome. Heal me. It could be really nice, you know? The, the gnome isn't, or halfling isn't that smart. He decided to charge into battle. <laughs> oh, I'm not wrong. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hockey, is that hit? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a, I can't even call it a 14 because it's such a fucked up number. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. It really is. You want to roll that again? There you go. There we go. <laughs> okay. And that misses. No. Wait, the, okay. The zero and the nine are... Ah, uh, never mind. You're going by the top row. I thought you were going by the clump of them to the right of the keyboard. It's like, how did you do a nine? <laughs> skill. Skill. Mad, mad skill. Okay. Uh, Kai, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna shoot an arrow at that guy I hunt as well, this guy. Number one, okay. Come on, as okay. might have missed, I shouldn't, I would not. Ah, you miss. This guy is lucky, man. This guy is so lucky. Okay. He's, he's and, like uh, Neo from the Matrix. He is just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, you gonna move or are you done? Yeah, I'm going to move just right here and uh, like okay. crouch behind this bush. Okay. Reed, your turn. Okay, I just want to verify. Uh, as long as I'm not leaving Sphere of Influence, I can move around a target, right? Yes. Yes. Um, you can maneuver around it without invoking an opportunity attack. Right. You can crab walk like I did last session. So Reed's going to go here. Okay. So going around. Sort of sidle around. Him. Yep. Staying with that, within yeah. that guy. And, and keep your um, shield in between you and him. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're we're not giving we're not giving him any free hits because he hasn't gotten any in the first place. Uh, and we're <laughs> gonna go ahead and strike at the uh, big bad between me and Hest. Okay. And uh, let's see. So first of all, miss. Oh no! Wait, you get advantage. Yeah, get advantage because okay. you're flanked. That hits. Awesome. So let's Reed, go ahead. Why did you get me? Let's do okay. that. And then roll your d4. Plus... Uh, has that worn off yet? Nope. Nope. He's oh. got it probably the whole fight, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whole minute. Uh, mm -hmm. This beast, as um, he he dodges Hest's attack, and then some uncanny ability allows him to twist at the last second to dodge the arrow that's coming from behind him. But as you uh, move around and strike him, you get a solid blow right across his back, and he uh, arches his back in, in pain and uh, growls, uh, a low, deep growl that sort of shakes you to your bones. Um, LSR, your turn. Let's if I can get this right. <clears throat> Dodge this. Oh. <laughs> 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 there, I'm gonna. That hurt my soul, move, dude. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Why'd you move there? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to kill this guy before he gets you. Okay. Tag me with your shillelagh. That misses. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Some of the... All, I can do. all of them got lucky. Dratan? Okay. <laughs> well, since he moved there, I'm gonna move Woo! around him. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Just like, skirt around over the here. front handspring front over hand. this thing's shoulders. <laughs> No, He's I roll a creature, by the way. I so. roll beneath its legs. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Do we need an agility like... check for that? <laughs> Do I really need right. no, 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 no. No worries. Okay, so what, what, what's going on? What are you doing, Jutan? He's oh, skirting oh, around behind it. Oh, it's currently rolling beneath this guy's legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Me and uh, all right, like, oh, you did shit. it. You did it. You sort of did a little tuck and roll, and yeah. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna attempt to rip your cha- rip your attack while underneath his groin. Okay. <laughs> Make the attack. Twenty five. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, roll your damage. Ten. Oh, oh, Tatana, I, need, I need another acrobatic Ouch. check to see if you do a gymnast like ta da at the end. <laughs> he just jumped off his wall. Yes, he does. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect okay. ten, and the judges oh. left their prizes. <laughs> ten. Ten. All right. Ten. You uh. You uh, successfully roll underneath, and in the middle of your roll, you stab upwards, and you pierce this uh, this ghoul, and your rapier goes almost to the hilt as you as it travels Ooh. just up into its body cavity, and you come out the other side, hands up like a gymnast, like you just won the gold medal, and the ghoul falls over. Yeah. <laughs> and he is dead. Okay, Zixo, your turn. Okay, I'm going to uh, urge Zoe to sprint forward up to about here. Looking out, I see Adric, I believe, is um, prone before this. Yeah. Seeing my friend Adric there, I'm going to try and save him with a frostbite spell. Okay. Well, one damage, but it's really just to give him disadvantage if he fails to save. All right, so he has to make this. So he takes the damage, anyways. No, no, no damage on the save, and nothing. Okay. If he saves, nothing happens. Okay. It's okay. And it's con save. Uh, he barely misses, so he gets the minus one. And you're saying disadvantage on attack rolls? Disadvantage on his next attack, yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Uh, number one here. Uh, now that he is flanked, almost. Oh well, yeah, on all sides, really. Um, he is going to. Let's see what he does. Does he have like an evil version of my Radiance of Dawn? Because that'd be pretty helpful to him. <laughs> please don't, please don't give DM, GM ideas. So like, ne- like necrotic debt. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, you know, I don't to... want necrotic damage. Mm, necrotic is fun. He is going to turn to Reed, who just was the last one to hit him, and he puts out his hand and does life drain. Ooh. That should have been a melee attack. Oh, no. There it is. Okay, eight, and it misses. Oh, okay. Um, that sucked. Okay. Uh, number two is going to do the same thing to Adric. 24. Oh. Freaking yeah, that... critical. All right. So what's... Uh... He's disadvantaged. Oh, disadvantaged. Oh, no, no. Oh. He's... Yeah, I'm no, no, disadvantaged. No. You're no. so freaking lucky. <laughs> Wait, no. That's... Wait, does that because... He has advantage because I'm prone. Then he has disadvantage because oh, that does oh that's it. true. That. Oh, so no. the, 20, the first it one hits so that's 24. Yeah, that's 24. You are the first, first player, player ever to ever. argue in my favor. Thank you. I'm, hey, I, I try so. to be fair. I mean, I did it to myself, so I'm owning up to it. Yeah. So okay. I lose 12, and he gains half of that, right? Well, um, you know, actually, don't don't tell me. No, it's, it's much worse than that. You, make, you need to make a Constitution saving throw. Ooh, if it's poison, I get advantage. Just heads Not up. Not poison. Eh. Oh God. Okay, you do not make the save, and therefore, dead. Your it's hit point true. maximum is reduced by the amount damage taken. Oh, oh fuck! Wow. Oh. Okay, so I went from forty-six to thirty-two for my max. Mm-hmm. And you take the you take the twelve damage. Yeah. I'm Back at 20, twenty-five. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, and the ghouls are no more, so we will get rid of them. And it's your turn. Question, can you attack from prone? You can attack from prone. You can also make a movement action to stand up. But that counts as my action for the... Actually, no, they use up half your move. It counts as your move. It counts as half your move, yeah. All right. Um, And that would round up to 13 or down to 12, because I'm at 25. Yeah, it's always round down, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that is a really ugly number, 13. Well, I'm going to do half that to stand back up, so I've got 13 left. I'm just going to... Or 12 left, sorry. So I'm going to uh, back up. Of course, swings at me. 20 Mm -hmm. to hit. Uh There it is. All right. Oh, boy. 
Jesus, so I take 10? It is, yeah, the 10. All right. Ooh. Jesus. Fucking nuts. Well, I've got, I've got a bit of pent aggression. Considering the ghouls did nothing, I'm, I'm guessing we can get this one. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. 19, 20, 20, 22. <laughs> so I've used up 22 movement. I'm then going to dash at him and try again with that <laughs> dashing swing. <laughs> It's like I'm bouncing off of them and keep going. So the dash, you have to travel how far? 10 feet? Uh, at least, uh, 10 feet in a straight line, yes. Okay. And 19 to hit. 19 hits. All right, so the damage is 2 plus 5, so 7. Not bad, not bad. Could have been, could have been 17. All right, cool. Um, as uh, you finish your attack, <laughs> you, um, you guys feel the ground begin to, uh, you know, sort of, Jurassic Park style. It's it's you hear this thumping, um, and up on this ridge, you see this huge monster get to the edge, notice you, and roar as he jumps down. Oh, and uh, he is just going to come in at the very end of the. Oh shit! It's here. Oh, yeah, dude, it's, it's big. Yeah, don't. So right. it's got. Is it Hang melee range noise. ten feet? Because it's large. It does not have reach, no. You don't need to worry about oh, that. Thank you. Anyone who's listening, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hest, your turn. Let's uh, see. Do I have advantage right now on this? On number on number uh, one, you do, yes. 12. Awesome. 22 damage in a single turn, or two turns. Shit. 12 seconds. That's not good. Uh, I'm going to uh, hey, yeah, do you want to try for a critical? Go ahead, roll again, see if you get a critical. That's what the other roll is. So, so Hest is anti-read when it comes to these rolls? <laughs> it looks like it. Okay, make your attack, or make your damage roll, I mean. I am going to, I'm doing another um, inflict wounds. Oh, okay. So twenty-two. Oh, Actually, needs. Wow. Holy cow! Wow. Okay. You're like the anti-read. This is fantastic. <laughs> okay. You really are. Um, See it, Once again, you stretch forth your your hand. Um, you sort of you put your mace in your in your shield arm, and you stretch forth your hand a few feet from this uh, this skeletal figure, and unleash the power of your god, and the blast is so powerful that you blow this creature apart and bones scatter everywhere. Bones and fragments of cloth and a little bit of rotten flesh go everywhere. And as you uh, pick up your mace again, from immediately up above, its skull lands right on the ground and spins and then stops with its uh, eye socket staring just up and you can tell it's amazing. Just like, holy cow, what just happened? Which direction is the noise? Is the nose pointing? The nose, down, left or right. <laughs> the nose isn't there anymore. Uh, where the nose would be, where is it pointing? <laughs> I, left. The nose suck it. Left. Uh, uh, all right. Looks like Hess has, has to kiss I'm the. I'm going to move up here. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Okay, Kai, your turn. <clears throat> Gee, blew his that's fucking that nose guy. off. That's that's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's right. As the noseless guy just died, uh, I'm gonna move my hunter's mark to that uh, guy. This guy, yeah, yeah, this guy. Okay, and then attack it. Yay! Ooh, nice. Okay, that hits. And that hits, and I'm gonna roll my hunter's mark damage. That six. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're uh, dang, rolling max rolls all the time, man. Um, <laughs> your arrow streaks from uh from the ridge and down right over Hest's shoulder, and it strikes this uh skeleton right in the forehead and uh wow. blasts a huge hole through its skull, and uh, it stares it stares at Hest for a second with these fletching sticking out of its skull before it just teeters over and topples. <laughs> okay, Reed, your turn. Okay, uh, just oh, for the record, 
uh, as this guy died too, I'm going to move my uh, Hunter Smart to that big guy in my next round. So if you okay, does that, take, now, does that take a bonus action to do? Yeah, this, that takes a bonus action. Because you've already used your bonus action, so I think you yeah. might need to wait till the next round. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'll put it there for right now because that's that what you'll do nice? next round. But. Yeah, that's uh, what I meant. Yeah. Okay. LSR, your turn. Oh, no. It was Reed's turn. Sorry. I already. I... <clears throat> Rude ace. Okay. Oh, there you go, Reed. Your turn. Okay. So uh, realizing that his target is now gone, uh, Reed looks up and sees a gigantic thing, and then you can just see his resolve harden. So he's just going to move like right here in front of the fallen dwarf or the somewhat fallen dwarf the dwarf that fell once upon a time and um the dwarf that fell come to die the, yeah the dwarf that <laughs> fell that's exactly what we're doing with this and uh please i, I really i really i really want to hit this one <laughs> okay nice. so hold on once wait wait, wait. We're, we're we're not stopping there so first of all that that 1d4, nice baby. Roll. Plus that. Hold on. Not okay. Yet. Ooh. And then because this thing is big and disgusting and things like that, we're also going to throw in a Divine Smite into that. Ooh, nice. that's a fun... That's actually a pretty fun spell. Wrathful Smite is a personal favorite, but that's a close second. Okay. All right, you uh, charge headlong into this beast and um, unleash your your blades energy as well as calling upon the the reserve of power within yourself to add additional damage to it and your blade strikes true and slides up to the hilt into this beast's chest and sort of you can feel the energy release inside the, and the beast recoils and and um, a gout of flame comes out of its mouth as it roars and you pull your blade free and it looks at you and it is royally pissed off okay I'll start. <laughs> of course it is <laughs> oh boy I really don't want to move him I don't think I want to get close to that thing <laughs> so good good luck good luck you close friends spellcasters <laughs> um damn it I needed that long rest um I'm gonna check out my longbow and I'm yeah, I'm going to switch over to my longbow, and I'm going to shoot at him. Okay. Where is it? That hits. Nice. Excellent. Is okay. it Hunter's Mark? Yes. Can you take advantage yeah, of that? That's only for the Hunter. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's only, only for the Ranger. Ranger. And it's it's not marked yet. It's gonna be marked in my next. Yeah, round. Oh, exactly. It's not marked anyway. All right, six damage. Okay, Dratan, your turn. All right. So, recalling stories of giant, of uh, large creatures and halflings getting stabbed together, I'm gonna take the time to go back to my piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did a little drawing. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Didn't you see yeah. Slender Man? He's been coming through the woods to catch up to us. Isn't it obvious? It's a piano. Look at it. It's got no. angles and colors. It's a piano, man. It's a keyboard. That's where I left my piano. Yeah, the the white area is the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna start um, calling this thing a fat piece of shit. <laughs> uh, if it's just it's not very nice of you, but okay. That's hurtful, man. DC, 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 DC. 